I'm um, James's mum, my name is Janet. Um, James's dad's name's Peter and he's the oldest of four boys in our family. Life before enabling good lives, it was becoming increasingly difficult really because as James is, he's having more seizures and things now so his kind of medical needs have deteriorated and changed and so the services that were being offered through the agencies that we were using were kind of, James didn't quite fit in the box for them anymore and so you have sort of felt like funding was for him was going into services that didn't actually quite meet his needs properly anymore and it was a bit of a waste of his funding. I felt like the people that were caring for James were having to work harder and harder to support him so I felt like they weren't really probably being, weren't at all being financially compensated for the amount of support they were needing to give James. That's probably the other thing that made me sort of think perhaps there's a better way that we could do this for him. I actually spoke to Disability Support Link, our service coordinator, because um, I was just feeling a little bit frustrated with the way his services were kind of going and so she knew our situation and she knew James quite well because she had been his coordinator for quite a while and so she suggested that I um, ring and find out more with EGL. How I have found working with Enabling Good Lives is that it has been very easy. Now I feel like the funding that is given to James because of his level of need, it is channelled directly to supporting James, supporting the people that care for him and supporting the things that he likes to do in his day and it has meant that we have been able to have way more flexibility. No money is wasted, it's all just about supporting James and making his life as good as possible for him. And you see it in James, I think that's the greatest thing. I'm Shane Cunningham, I'm one of James's carers. And I'm Sharon, his wife and James's other carer. How things have changed for me and my wife and family I used to be a chef for 43 years. I did it while we were looking after James too. But when Janet came up with the idea of enabling funding, they said to me, would you like to finish your job? Because it gave me an opportunity to spend more time with James, focus on him completely, you know? We can focus most of our attention on his needs can, now. Like I can stay at home at nights now, because I work most nights, you know? and it was all a lot that was on Sharon at night, you know. Yeah. It is a two-person job mm. to support him in the manner that he needs as his seizures have increased. Yeah. So yeah, it's kind of, it's just made it more of a mm. easier transition for us to be a team. Instead of struggling, you know, um, thinking that this is like becoming harder and harder, it's actually become easier and easier now. Mm. So what's next for James? Our overall goal is just to give him the best quality of life possible because it is very simple and you are very, very well supported and if you don't know what to do, EGL are very good at um, helping you and, and showing you how to do it.